Hi, I'm Liam Lawrence and this is my Six Aside team. I'm going to play um, in the middle of midfield. Um, there's only going to be me in there as well, because I've chose a quite awkward team. So I'm going to play in the middle, and that's where I used to play anyway in training and stuff yeah. when we do five and six sides. I'm going to go with Shea Given. He's probably one of the best that I've worked with in terms of how professional he was and how good he was, not just with catching the ball and, and being a goalkeeper, but you know, over the last sort of 10 years, if you like, you know, it's become more important to be good with your feet as a keeper, and he was brilliant at it. So, you know, he, he went on to what was he, 38, 39, maybe, and uh, maybe 100 and odd caps for Ireland. So, his career was was fantastic. I'm gonna have two at the back because, from experience in training and stuff with five and six sides, you, you always need a couple of defenders. So. Um, I've chose Houthi, Robert Huth, um, the big German. Um, he was just a, a beast. He was a gentleman and a really nice guy, but in training and match days, he was just he was just like a rock. You could always depend on him. So I'll I'll choose him as as one, um, and the other one's Ryan, Ryan Shawcross. I think what he's done at this club. You know, when he came from Man United and how he's managed to sustain, you know, playing at this club at a top level and, and you know, what he's done in, in big games for the club, I think he's, he's been immense. You know, at the back for us, they, they were the last line, if you like, and it was the spine of the team. It went through them to Wheelow, to Rick and Mama and Beats up top. So, you know, to have them as your two centre-halves, it was... It was comforting at times. Well, I'm going to have Robbie Keane in and around me, because when we used to play five sides, he wasn't just stuck up top. Robbie, he was always in and around midfield in little pockets, and you know he was he was awesome. I remember when I first got called up with Ireland and watched him do a shooting session. I'd never seen nothing like it. The only thing I've seen that's as good as it was James Beattie when he first came to Stoke. Just the way they never missed the target and always making the keeper work but again in big games you know you've seen it what for 10-15 years with Robbie he was just awesome for club and country you know the amount of goals he scored in the Premier League as well and the manner of the goals he scored you have to have him in there. It's got to be Ricardo. it's got to be Ricardo. I mean you know I've obviously played with some good strikers you know, Robbie I've mentioned Beats but on his day, Ricardo was, for me, one of the best that's, that's played for Stoke that I've seen over, what, 10, 15 years. I think he was brilliant, you know. In games, he just used to give him the ball. He'd have one or two defenders against him, even out wide, and he'd just manage to create a goal or do something out of nothing. I mean, you can keep him quiet for 70 minutes, and then he'd be unplayable for, for 20 minutes. I mean, some of the goals he scored for this club frightening, not to mention like the West Ham goal, the Birmingham goal, the Wolves goal, the list goes on, doesn't it? So, and we formed a great partnership, me and Rick, we had a great understanding, so he's my number nine. It's got, it's got to be Ronaldo. Um, I played against him a couple of times, got one of his shirts and lucky enough to get it on my wall. Um, but yeah, it's, it's got to be him, I think. For me, he's the greatest player that's ever played football. I think he's over 500 goals. I think he's just awesome, you know, five Ballon d'Ors, Champions League, Premier League, the Ligas. And now he's gone to Juve at 32, 33, and he's just doing it again. So for me, I'd want him to be starting, but if he has to be a sub, he has to be a sub. I'm Liam Lawrence and that is my Six Aside team.